A very warm welcome to you to this service of daily prayer for Tuesday the 8th of March, which is brought to you from St. John's Church, Edinburgh. My name is Janet Rennie and I'm a member of the congregation of that church. In this season of Lent, we start our prayer service by praying with words today from Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass punishment. I apologize, judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop that I, and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will tra teach transgressors your ways and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing it loud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, then you will delight in right sacrifices, in burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings, then bulls will be offered on your altar. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you despise nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting your, our sins and acknowledging our brokenness, may obtain of you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Today, we honor St. Duthac. According to the Aberdeen Breviary, Duthac was a native Scot. Tradition has it that Duthac was educated in Ireland and became Bishop of Ross. He was known for performing miracles and prophesying all by God's grace. He is recorded to have predicted the Danish invasion. St. Duthac was greatly venerated in Scotland and his memory is still preserved in, vari in variations and in the names of places and organizations, including Kilduthi, Arduthi near Stonehaven, and Kilduich on Loch Duich. Tain, where he is reputed to have died and been buried, had a church built in his honor. His death is recorded in the annals of Ulster for the year 1065. After many years, his body was found to be incorrupt and his relics were translated to the shrine of St. Duthus Collegiate Church, built between 1370 and 1458. The ruins of the St. Duthus Church are still there, 
but the relics disappeared about 1560 at the time of the Reformation. Let us now worship God with words from Psalm 96. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name, tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Let us pray. God of love, shepherd of your people, we thank you for your servant Duthak, who was faithful in the care and nurture of your flock. Taught by the example of his holy life, May we, by grace, grow into the full stature of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from 2 Corinthians. For the love of Christ urges us on because we are convinced that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, so that those who live might live no longer for themselves, but for him who died and was raised for them. From now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view, even though we once knew Christ from a human point of view, we know him no longer in that way. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting the message of reconciliation to us. So we are ambassadors for Christ, since God is making his appeal through us. We entreat you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Christe eleison, Christ have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. In the following intercessions, please add your prayers to mine in the silences.
in this time of war and destruction. Our prayers are for all who live in terror, who fight for their country, who run for their lives, who fear for their families and loved ones' survival. We pray for all leaders, politicians and governors, that they have the courage to denounce or renounce evil and to act with integrity and compassion in the interests of all peoples. Give all leaders integrity in their work and the vision to see the issues of the moment, to understand people's fears, to seize opportunities to show that the world can contain a set of countries based on principles of justice, equality and respect for all, living in harmony. We feel helpless in the face of the attacks on Ukraine and the wars or their aftermath in other parts of the world, including in Tigray, Myanmar, Syria and Afghanistan. Help us to pray and hear us as we plead for the safety and survival of all peoples, for a warm welcome for all refugees unfettered by bureaucratic demands and delays, for the continued existence of all democratically elected governments and for the welfare of all nations. We pray for the United Nations and all bodies as they work to broker peace and to assist the, su the suffering. We pray also for governments and aid agencies and for all charities and medical organizations helping the suffering and for all citizens who show the courage to protest their government's actions. Be present at all meetings and negotiations where feelings run high and where many lives will be profoundly affected by the decisions made. Guide all who are in authority, who need to make brave decisions affecting the lives of many people and the health of the planet. May they be prudent guardians of the safety of all and protectors of the needy. We now add in silence our own prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We offer today special prayers for the unity of the church. We pray for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. Help us not to walk on the other side when we are called to show in action our Christian beliefs and compassion. We pray for Christians living in places where it is dangerous to proclaim the gospel and for those excluded or hurt by the institutional church. We also pray for ourselves as we seek to build a welcoming and inclusive church. We bring our thanks for new hope and strength in our communities, especially in your church and all who serve it. We pray for John our Bishop, Mark our Primus, the College of Bishops, the leaders of the Edinburgh City Centre churches together, all bishops and other ministers, and for all who serve God in his church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our pray, prayer. We pray for the sick in body, mind and spirit, for the anxious and lonely, and for those coping with illness or infirmity. May consolation and peace be theirs. And we give thanks for all in whose lives we see goodness, kindness, gentleness, patience and humility, and all the fruits of the Spirit. We pray also for the departed and those who mourn them, 
Give the strength of your unending presence to all who mourn, that they may find comfort, courage and healing. And in silence we pray for those injured or killed in war, for those close to us and those who have sought our prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now, uniting our voices and prayers into one, we pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We close our worship in Lent by praying with words today from Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is in, within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed, he made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our, our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him, as far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has comp compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made, he remembers that we are dust. As for mortals, their days are like grass, they flourish like a flower of the field, for the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, obedient to his spoken word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to his Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Go in peace.